Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with FMI Gaming. I'm Levi and I will be your uh, engineer for the day as we experience some unlikely lag. That's great. Okay, awesome. Let it go away. So today, or uh, last few days, I've been working on my multiplayer server to make a uh, automatic uh, farming system, basically. Where you would have to use the least amount of effort possible to get an end reward and this lag needs to go away. Are you done? I'm gonna, hold on. Okay, and I'm back. I have no clue what was making that leg, so let's just hope it doesn't get that bad. Maybe restarting it like that will help it. So what I wanted to do is I want to make it a farming system that took the least amount of effort possible to get an outcome. So at first I was like, okay, so if I could take out the, take away the water next to the reeds, to the sugar, they'll all die. And then I can flush it down with water. So that's what I have here. So let's just look at what's going on. Basically, just, just water by pistons. Oh, I fell in a hole. That is not very helpful. <laughs> See, everything just goes wrong. But this, hopefully, will go right. Okay, so we got three lanes of water surrounded by reeds that go down, um, like, every seven or whatever. So it, it's just a nice row. And when I flip the switch, these pistons will close because this will be turned on. And the charge will go up here. And I just have this here to uh, delay the charge because I was having some bugs with the water so hopefully this will cause it to delay enough for all of this water to be drained before this starts or at least enough so this will all die and so it gets pushed out so right here this is how a, a, like a reverse charge or opposite charge works you have the redstone go into a block that's a torch on the side so this torch is powering this but when this gets charged this will go out so then th these will open and the floodgates will flood down there and flood things down. So let's just see how that works. Um, I had no clue how to work this so I, I looked it up and since then everything has gotten better. So let's hop up here to see what's going on. The water is flowing out of here and then this goes opening these and pushes it down. But see the problem I'm having with this setup is that these don't die fast enough. Um, do those just glitch? Okay, they are there. So these, the, all of the, the sugar will be pushed down to the end. And then you can just come down here and pick it up. Which is simple enough. And then you flip the switch back. The problem with this way is you have to reset all of the sugar after you've done this. Which is not very fun. Because that takes the majority of the time and it's not actually that hard just to run through those channels holding down your mouse button and destroying everything. So you turn that off, bottom opens up, and this takes on the delay so you see the charge finishing down here and it closes those. So then hopefully, unless the water glitches again, everything should be go back to normal and I'll just have to replant everything. I'm not going to do that right now because um, well, I didn't pick these up first of all. So I'm just going to see how our outcome was, how much we made out of here cow so that's a lot a lot of sugar and you gotta keep in mind that two-thirds of that so you got about about almost about that much each each load every full growth but then you have to go and replant so like I wonder if there's a way that you can make it so you don't have to replant at all because replanting is just it's annoying I just want to be able to pu push a button every once in a while and have uh, sugar so then I come up with this system which works pretty nice. You hit this button and these basically work as little shavers and shave off the top two layers of the sugar. The only problem with this method those reeds just grew right after I did that. I'm gonna do it again. The only problem with this method is you only get about 50% efficiency because how these things, these sugars fall, some of it gets stuck on this side and on the other side so you get about half in the water half left up here which of course it's not optimal but about every full cycle of this you get about only about two stacks of sugar but you don't have to replant um, and this this system can be stacked so that's what I've done here I have three stacks of this system I'll, I'll show you how it'll work in a second here I'm gonna pick that all up and just shove it all in here and I like this method because you don't have to uh, replant everything I feel like this might be better for growing wheat because you have to replant wheat one way or the other after you harvest it so you'll have to do that anyway and 
the water pushing system might work well. So I'm just going to show you how this is built. Um, basically, you got the water channel, pretty standard, and you got your dirt next to it, and then you got up two blocks on the side. You got a piston, which I'll show you the the charge for it. So you got a charge that goes through here, and all the pistons are on this level. So when you get a charge through here, it activates all the pistons, and it comes up here, and it actually hits this one, which um, because how they're set up, you need because it's so long, you need a, a repeater here. But if you have a repeater here. And you have a piston in there. This piston right in that corner won't get hit. So I take a sticky piston with a piece of wool. On the other side, I'll show you the inside later. And this will activate it. And it basically just extends the piston one extra. So that was my quick workaround. So this just makes the, the, the charge go farther. And you go up here and you go across this bridge. And you go to the other side. It does the same exact thing with a sticky piston here. Charge goes extra long here. And then you get here and you go and it goes up couple levels uh, it renews the charge here and then you go up a couple more levels and it does the same exact thing so it's completely stackable I followed a pattern to make all three of these levels um, let's take a look on the inside let's go inside of here so I just use glowstone here and a lot of torches because I know you need a lot of light you don't need a lot but it's good to have light it makes it grow faster and having it in like this encased area it make it darker so I use glowstone um, sure you could probably just use torches here and keep the torches above the three height level so it can grow fully so it's pretty standard here's the wool so you got the wool here with a sticky piston just so you can extend it one farther and still have it break the stuff and yeah so that's that um, you get about two stacks like I said before but you don't have to do anything which is super duper nice you just literally just press this button and have it be done and it's easily stackable so I'm gonna probably make this go higher and then fully encase it so it just looks like a, a big block building and you'll hit this button and stuff will come out that's that's my uh, end plan I guess I'll modify this later to become wheat but yes that's my design for the um, automatic sugar reed farmer system if you have any more questions please let me know down in the comments and I can hopefully answer them or make it an extra video uh, it's it's pretty simple. Um, it just follows this pattern. So the reeds go up to three high, and then there's one more level, and then the next level starts. The um, so then you have the three there. That just, that's not a very good explanation. But it, it's simple. You just have to toy with it. You just gotta remember that the repeaters renew your charge, and you can also set it to delay by uh, left no right clicking. You can set it to delay. Uh, but there's no need to delay here. This piston will activate. And yeah. I, I At one point I had it where you had a switch down here. A button down here. And then just went up both sides. And did it like all at once basically. But then I decided that it would be easier just to go all the way around. And not have some ugly like spire out here. Because I don't I don't want a spire type of thing going on. Um, so yes I hope you liked this video. Hope you liked this design. Hopefully you will take this design and use it in your own Minecraft to get lots and lots of sugar. Of course you can stack this as high as you can up to the sky and down as low as you can to the bedrock. That would be kind of beastly. And you can also extend it if you wanted to out longer so you can get more out of each layer. Um, and when you do that you just have to keep going down the step and you will need to keep renewing it and keep putting the sticky pistons in instead. So I believe this is like every one and a half levels down. You should have one of these. Um, and that would really make it so it worked great. You could just make tons and tons of sugar. I'd love to see someone have a video response using the same exact system. But just on a super duper duper productive level. Get like all the way up in like a mile that way. That would be so incredible. I would be so happy. Uh, but yeah. So that's my idea of using pistons in order to... Um, to farm better and I'm gonna try and make this wheat work better so thank you very much everyone for watching please rate favorite comment share subscribe hopefully this was s somewhat useful and somewhat entertaining to you guys that has been my explanation and I'll see you all later oh gosh she's coming to get me bye